Hello, and thank you for stopping by the Massachusetts Beer Reviews channel of YouTube, where today is the 17th of April, 2018, and Celtics played Game 2 this evening against the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, I think we just won 120 to 106. I wasn't really paying attention. I think the ESPN app just said that. So I'm going to drink a Massachusetts beer by way of Rhode Island, if that makes sense. I'll explain that in a moment. This one is from the Newburyport Brewing Company. I have a growler of it here. It is their Maritime Lager. I believe it's a newer beer in 2018 or maybe possibly towards the end of 2017, but it's a newer beer. It's a German Helles-style lager. It is 4.9% alcohol by volume, and I believe it is 15 IBUs. I say it's a Massachusetts beer by way of Rhode Island because... At the new establishment, the new home of Rhode Island brewing um, the Narragansett lager beers, or the Narragansett line of some of their beers, at this place in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, called the Rhode Island Guild, they contract brew several different breweries' beers from around New England from time to time, and they rotate what they brew there and what they have on tap there, which you can get on a growler, but this time around, the growler that I chose was the Maritime Lager. It's in a Stanley Growler I got for Christmas. And I filled it up on Saturday, so it's been sitting a little while, but today was the first day that I opened it. Samuel Adams glass, why not? Let's see if I can get a good pour. Alright, I think that's good enough for examination purposes this evening. So here's the Maritime Lager from Newburyport Brewing Company. It is your classic German, European style lager kind of a look to it. It's definitely golden in color. It has a bright white head. And the etching on this glass is keeping the carbonation right where I want it, being nice and effervescent, but it's got some effervescence regardless of the glass. A little bit of popping and fizzing at this point. Lots of sweet, bready, um, crackery-like malt. There is some spicy hops. There are some green, earthy hops. Like grass clippings, if you know what I mean by that aroma. Very malt-forward lager beer. There is some grainy notes to it. There's a little bit of like a lemony note to it. I mean, it's got more malt heft in it than your standard Budweiser Miller Coors beer. So in that regard, it smells really great, really clean, really refreshing, and like it's going to have more flavor than one of the middle of the beer. So let's try the Maritime Lager, Newberry Port Brewing Company. Contract brewed this time by the Rhode Island Guild. Kentucky, Rhode Island. And it is very sweet, bready, malty up front. A lot of white bread, a lot of crackers, crackery notes, uh, flowery, doughy notes, if that makes any sense. Spicy hop notes for sure. I'm getting that sass kind of a hop note to it. Um, again, lemony notes is what I'm getting. Very crisp, very clean. There is somewhat of a bittering agent that leaves, that is the last thing to leave before it dries. A touch fruity, but I'm going to say it's mostly lemony notes. It is very crisp, it is very clean, and it is stupidly refreshing. You could kill a 64-ounce growler with some buddies without effort in the summertime. A 
body is got some heft to it, which is great. It's got some medium to light towards the medium mouthfeel. Again, really crisp, clean, and refreshing. Um, I don't know what else to really say about it. It's pretty, for what it is, it's pretty basic, but that's not a knock on the beer. That's just, you know, the style is kind of basic, but there's a lot of multi elements to it. And that spicy Saz hop is really nice in here. It does remind me a lot of a Carlsberg, but with more of a hoppy presence. And it's not quite as watery, but if you like European pale lagers, if you like Euro lagers, if you like Carlsberg, Heineken, Grolsch, Cronenberg, Cronenberg, however you pronounce that, uh, 1664, um... Uh, Stella Artois, Pilsner Urkel, those style of beers, you will like this one. If you're not a huge, huge, huge hop head, this is the German Helles lagers are really very inoffensive and a great gateway into better tasting lagers. So, I'm sorry I don't have a huge amount else to say about this beer. It's pretty one-dimensional and it's definitely holding a taste th this taste profile that i describe it's holding it it looks great in the glass champagne of beers right here um could i give it a 90 like world class no could i give it an 88 i mean it's a world class beer as far as is the german hellas lager style what they meant to brew and how authentic it is to that style well sure um the, the back of my mind is screaming 85 out of this one. I actually think if there were more malts and a more and more um, IBUs, more international bitterness units, and a little bit more in the hop department, it could even be much more of an interesting beer. But as it stands, you're primarily getting clean, crisp, slightly... Um, spicy hop note is the big picture with the malts and the sweetness in the background. So if any of that sounds good and you're in New England where Newburyport is, or if you can get to Rhode Island and go to the Rhode Island Guild, again, right now is April 17th and these past two weekends they had this on tap at their place. I don't remember what the growler cost. You can get six packs, pretty inexpensive, so... Great beer to try and great one to to uh, drink here when it becomes warmer outside. So that'll be great. Um, yeah, eighty five. Sure, it's a middle of the road B. Life's too short. Keep drinking amazing beers. Uh, this has been Thomas Metal seventy five reviewing the Maritime Lager from Newburyport. Brewing Company, brewed at the Rhode Island Guild, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Until next time, keep tasting those great beers. Cheers, and I'm out.